For all the noise and mandates, no one's going to force you to adopt building information modeling. If you want to, you can just carry on as you are and tune out from all the jargon. But what will happen if you don't do BIM? For the first few days, you'll barely notice it. You might even feel like a huge weight's been lifted from your shoulders. You'll be able to get on with things without worrying about BIM all the time. But then it will start to get you. Let's take a look at what will happen if you're an individual working for an organisation. You'll find that things start changing around you. You'll find you're just not as efficient as you used to be. Other people are designing better buildings than you, doing faster takeoffs, getting praised for more accurate programs, finding information more quickly in something called a common data environment, and generally getting on better with their teams through a more collaborative way of working. You might find that tenders start coming in asking you to detail your BIM capability. You'll pass it on to the resident BIM expert who answers all the questions about BIM and tenders and get it submitted. And then you'll find yourself working on a project where the expectations of your project team and client have all suddenly shifted. You might find you're not allocated to the project you really wanted because it needed a strong BIM team and the new girl, well, she's just got more experience than you. You might hear that Danny, the really annoying guy up on level 8, got promoted way before you did because he knows his BIM stuff and it's just too important to let go. Of course, the repercussions for individuals are tough, but to an extent people are shielded by the organisations that they work for. Unfortunately, the fate awaiting those organisations themselves is far more brutal. So let's take a look at what will happen if you run an organisation and you decide not to adopt BIM. Again, you'll probably feel instant relief that another problem has left your desk just in time for the weekend. But come Monday, things will be shaping up pretty badly. There'll be the news before 8am that the must-win project you're after has gone to your closest competitor. Something to do with really understanding what the client was after and offering them not just a price, but a built asset that really supported their business outcomes. At 9am, you'll get a phone call from one of your best employees who's just accepted an offer to work elsewhere for a firm who are really pushing ahead with technology and delivering excellent buildings for their clients. At 10am, you'll have a meeting with your finance team where the reasons for all this will suddenly become clear. You'll once again review your massive turnover, high cost base and the tiny margins it's all delivered you. There'll be that killer comparison chart showing your competitor increasing their turnover and margins whilst keeping their cost base the same and the penny will drop that that big new salary they're paying the top employee you just lost will be coming from those funds. It'll be to do with your competitors adopting BIM and the digital approach to construction across their projects and almost every part of their business. They'll have become more efficient by being able to find accurate data faster in a single shared online area and for being able to make decisions on that data that are right first time. Some studies have estimated that adopting BIM could generate efficiency savings of 20 to 25%. In a five day working week, 20% represents an entire day. Those that realise these efficiency savings are effectively gaining an extra day in every week of their financial years. That time allows them to take on more work whilst keeping their cost base the same, increasing their turnover and their profit. It allows them to increase their market share whilst investing in development and in building and retaining excellent teams of people. They become the first choice for their clients because they're able to offer a better value project on a more efficient timescale at a more attractive price. For those not adopting BIM or going digital, this is all very hard to compete with. As if your morning wasn't bad enough, you're then into the workload review meeting at 2pm. Your client base work with other people now. The people you always used to collaborate with keep saying they're too busy and don't return your calls. You're now forced to look at projects that are low budget, unattractive, through a horrible procurement route and with people you really don't like or trust. If your business is in product manufacturing, you might be hit with the statistic that your competitor's product has been specified twice as much as yours because their 3D component is really useful and easy to access. Now, we know that scaring people is patronising and not helpful and that really isn't what we've tried to do with this video. We just want to help you visualise what will happen if you let the environment around you change without seriously considering what you need to do to keep up. We want to see construction improve and we think BIM can play a huge part in that. If you want to adopt BIM, check out our other videos on the B1M, all tailored to try and make the subject as straightforward as possible. But we can't force you.